Good day everyone. You're welcome to another episode of my vlog Catch 22 with Adiola. And today we are taking a break. Yes, we are taking a break. I'm going to be just telling you part of the reasons why I did not post last week. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. And thank you to everyone that actually asked me why I didn't post and expected my post. I'm really grateful. Thank you everyone. So, back to what we were talking about before. I'll be sharing with you my INEC ad hoc stuff whatever experience yes i'll be sharing with you giving you the full gist i know a lot of you have seen um copper sleeping on the on the beer floor some in the cups and peps and all i'm going to be sharing with you my own part of the story because well i'm thankful that my picture actually then came out with all those people's picture but i was actually sleeping on this sucker waist lab and i was shaking like a wet chicken <laughs> So this is catching two with Adela. Well, I know some people will be like, this thing is not by force now. Most people go for the INEC um, stuff. Most you is at least it's not all couples that are doing this thing. Let me tell you my own part of the story. My my strong headed stubborn independent girl will not kill me one day. The thing is, okay, there's this exam I want to write and I'm trying to like gather money myself. Like I just want to do this myself. Like must they pay for everything? Let me just do this myself. So I after all the stress of registry online, going for trainings here. Yeah, yeah, seeing this post online, coppers have to come to this thing. I will start rushing up and down, and we get there and all, and we were not paid a dime for all this thing. And after spending like half of my Halloween on transport fare up and down to get registered for this thing, I had one day that our names are out, and I'm like, finally, the struggle is over. I never knew that the struggle was about to begin. When I had that, I was posted to Ilela. I'm actually serving in Sokoto State. I had I was posted to local government Ilela, and Ilela is actually one of the places that we dread in camp. Like the, the the soldiers actually make fun of. Don't worry, you get posted to Ilela. Like so, we really dread the place. Like it's a very bad place, and we don't want to go there. And I just heard that my name had been posted to Ilela. I'm not going to back off now. I can't. So I had to put in for at least I have to go to this Ilela and see how it was. Then we started the training and all and the training I had to spend like five hundred per day going for the training. How much am I getting as my halawi? And these people are not even coming forth paying anything. Just let me skip all those parts to the parts where I had to actually go to this Ilela. Getting to this Ilela. We got there past one in the in the afternoon. And we're happy that okay, we are about to start whatever we whatever they call it, the orientation or anything. But to hmm, our shock, or what would I call it? None of the high neck officials came out to address us. Not even one of them. None of them came out to address us. We're standing outside there for over eight hours. Then it was night, and we find out that okay, we're going to sleep here overnight until somebody just came around to say the election has been postponed. I was sleeping on a circle waist lap. Some people were sleeping on the floor and hall and I just, I just couldn't hold the fact that I was already shaking. I had a friend there with me and he was like, see, I can't even watch you like this again. So he had to look for one um, general hospital healthcare center or something. So we had to go and sleep there. At least we are under one roof. And we had to spend our own money to come back to town and lest I forget this place I'm talking about to my um to town where I, I stay is like an hour and 30 minutes journey so I spent close to 2,000 naira to even go there apart from training fees and all and I had not been paid for any of them let me skip all this side again and let's come back to the real one the real this Friday when People were like, okay, this is the final one. We're actually going to um, get the voting done. And 
some people were even already pulling out after the the stress we went through the first one affliction shall not arise the second time so this second time that we got there and we're already hearing the stories that there is mattress for us and we won't be sleeping on the floor so we thought things were going to get better but really when we get there they provided this, the mattresses and i took my submitted my id card took my own mattress and we moved close to the rack center but when i got there i was already hearing my the name of my ward Gidahama is my ward where i was supposed to, to so and i was like okay your boss is here come down da, 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 da. so i just left my friend i left my friends i'm like and i'm like okay goodbye then i had to move closer to those people that we were posted to the world together and standing there are two trucks you know those kind of trucks they use in conveying cows <laughs> yes standing there were two trucks waiting to carry the coppers to our ward so we started rushing, running up and down. You need to see the way people were fighting. At last, I saw a guy who helped me up, and I never knew I had the power to climb that truck. Huh? I never knew I had much power until last weekend. <laughs> so I rushed to, and I climbed the truck. I was holding my mattress with one hand, dragging it like this. I was carrying my school bag like this, and I was dragging both. I was just able to drag everything into the truck and I sat down in one place with plenty. <sighs> At least we are inside the local government now. Let us which way we are going. We are going. An hour we were still going. An hour 30 minutes we were still going. An hour 45 minutes we were still on the way. Then after like two hours and some minutes, we finally reached the world. <laughs> Trust me, my leg could not move. My leg could not move. A guy literally really carried me down from that, bundled me down from that truck. So it was already dark when we got there and they showed us our accommodation. An abandoned Remy school. Abandoned. Abandoned, I mean, no roof, no windows. Some people are already using it as a toilet. I told you it's a village. So. We started calling our names and blah 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 blah. We slept on the bare floor in the cold, but the cold was at least better than before. I was not sleeping on the bare floor now. I had the mattress with me. They called our names and we had to go to this our uh, um, which, which means from my my polling unit from my place in town is close to four hours journey. So we got there. And we were about to go, we were given out my um, ballot boxes and everything with my, I was the APO one, with my PO and the other APOs and we were to get down to the place. We were about to move and now, can we just have our security people, they said it's only one that they will give us. Let us start going. There was no security man on ground. So do you actually expect four people that most of us don't even understand the language to go to that place and yeah, those people are so belligerent, like they are very ready to fight you anytime. So how do I cope with them? We had to go, like it was a very obvious thing that we were, we were of no value to them, like we were of no value to them, we were looking for cheap labels, people that they can use and just pay, pay scraps. Then let me tell you though, they paid us 4500 which cannot even equate to the fact that I'm spending close to that 4000 to go to this same place where I was posted to, because I'll be going thrice. I probably feel I have to feed myself two hours. But well, this 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 um, video is not about the fact that I'm angry about what they did. This video is to just you what it takes to be a Nigeria copa. <laughs> so we got there and as usual my people were fighting up and down. They need their pictures posted on the wall. Even most of them could not read it and we started the election. Thankfully the election went on fine and we started counting and my own word too, you understand, you should know who wins now, ABC. And we were supposed to come back home after everything when I saw my my people. <coughs> hey, I should just do this part. Yes. The village where I was supposed to my polling unit, we only had 30, not more than 30 houses there, mud houses. I'll be showing you the pictures right now. Like 30 mud houses. And in those mud houses, you will see like 20 people come out of one house and you'll be like 
hello, where are they coming out from? Like, just them coming out, coming out. They had a lot of children. Like, these people are not living in poverty. They are living in abject penury. And I was seeing small, small children. Like, you understand, people coming out with their voters card saying, like, 19, something. I'm like, are you telling me this person is older than I am? But my own destiny is to check the card reader. And as soon as the person's name is on the card reader, ah, so what are we talking about? So after we finished and I saw my people rolling on the floor, doing a la work bar, say ba ba, and they were so happy. We took our um, kubikul and everything and start coming back. And I should add that this going and coming back, we are using our money. Yes, our money. Until now, we haven't had anything from our precious Aineko. I don't need my other people. But for my own side, he's not had anything in power. Hmm. Onga, cash me. I will not lie. Onga. When I came back on Sunday, I was actually dragging myself like this, like I was going to die. I didn't eat throughout that Saturday. We were not even giving food, food, food quack. We were giving accommodation, not stock of food. Hmm. See, this is the, the, the small gist that could give you out of the, should I call it, dilemma that I went through. <laughs> So is there anyone out there who was an INEC ad hoc official and those people that are still going with me for the governorship election because we are surely getting to the end of this. Yes, but I hope they pay us so because if they don't pay us before we go for that one, hmm, there will be big wahala. But is there anyone out there that is um, was an INEC ad hoc official or we, we still have? any couple or anyone that participated in it do you have anything that you cannot forget please kindly drop in the comment section and share with me and everyone about how it went down i'm actually part of those people that hope for a better nigeria i believe that one day things will get better and that we are going to get to the next phase that is actually ours yes ours so till next week when we're going back to our complete woman series always remember that life is your catch it so you can't fight and resist it the only way to fight life is to accept it so always speak your truth as you can help anyone out there this is catch it too with ideal life i love you all